Yeah, it's uh, British Legion, Lloyd. What about me doing my shift? Stop going on about your shifts. Side entrance, Mr Beasley. Have a hat. Okay. It's for my wedding spends. Nope. Hey, settle, petal. You're getting yourself tense. I need you fresh for later on. What? Got to knock off early. Make yourself gorgeous for Naomi Campbell's better-looking twin. That Kelly. I'm not filling in. Oh, go on. Help a man fulfil his dream. Ask Leslie. He'll explain to you. No. We're mates. We look after each other. Sorry, mate. I know I ask a lot of you. Rock I'll step in if you give me my extra shifts. All right, deal. Uh, uh, no flaming fear. You'll have us out of business by the time you've ordered your starters. I'll do it. Nice one. Thanks, mate. Where are you off? Burkdale Road, the nursery. Uh, Claire, can you come back to base, please? No odd feelings, eh, Gail? None whatsoever. In fact, maybe you could do me a favour. If you see Phil, could you thank him? What for? Well, we had, um, <laughs> session, I suppose you'd call it, last night. Well, I think you should thank him yourself. Well, it's just cos you see so much of him. Not as much as you. Mm. Oh, he's got amazing ways. I mean, his hands, <laughs> they took me to places that neither of us expected to go. <laughs> oh, listen to me going on. <laughs> well, I mean, I think you might find people are more interested than you think. I should, uh, go see him. He might be just as keen to talk to you. That's yours. Thank you. Hey, is she any good with growing toys? She's up to something. What's that? Shopping list? No, it's for Zach. He, um... He wants me to write down a list of all the things I want to achieve, but shopping is one of them. So how's it going? Slowly? Well, I'm just trying to think, you know. Let me give you some. Uh, going out for a meal? Yeah. Why don't you put it down? Doing it rubbish? No, 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 Charlie, it's really good. It... The thing is, Zach said it has to come from me. Oh. Enough said. <clears throat> Am I disturbing you? Moment of truth. Very best of luck, Adam. Cheers, Adam. Look, the boy can drive a car. Where does the luck come into it? Oh, remember, some of the best drivers don't pass first time. Oh, let's get going before he starts sending us about the tortoise in the air. You got any cures for nerves? I'm uh, afraid not now. If I did, I'd be bottling it. Well, they do. It's called single malt. I thought you'd know that coming from Scotland. But don't worry, Grandad. He's not having any. Hey. So you got your test today, then? Yeah. I, I thought so. You can borrow my lucky charm if you want. Right, cheers. He comes with me when I go for modelling jobs and stuff. Yeah, OK, all right. Uh, come on, get in. So will you get to drive this car if you pass? He already does. Dad. Mm. Oh. I'll let you know how we get on, yeah? Well, I've got everything crossed for you. And that's a wise, wise man by the name of Kenny Rogers. That's all I want you to know about fighting. Only he puts it over better than what I can. Any questions? Is he the one off the fish finger I've wrote? No. Come on. A fella's having a go. Your pride's at stake. What do you do? Turn the other cheek. Oh, give me strength. Do you want to be known as the coward of the county? You go up. I'll get your camper after. Hey, do you? Oh. That was my little cheddar, then. Hey, I'm trying to teach the lad something here. He's got to have a wash. We're off for his dress fittings. Why? I need a red-blooded fella's opinion, actually. Which one of these? I'd have everything in trousers drooling. I've put a star bite one that suits you. Give over. Do you think it's some Julie Andrews? Come on, which one would have you gagging to unzip me? 
can't ask him that. Why not? Because he's nearly my dad and he'd never go for you anyway. How did you make that one out? You're too white. He likes you to have an healthy glow, like my mum. Hey! <laughs> you having dinner with David Scrum? Correct. Wouldn't have thought it were worth commenting on. You're in your suit in the garden. Well, I'm not mucking me hands, I'm ruminating. Beetroot won't lift in soon. Right, well, I'm putting the kettle on if you're interested. Oh, no time for that, lad. Table's booked for 5.15. A bit early, innit? What do they say about music? Oh, I'll turn it down. No, 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 you misunderstand me. I mean, how it brings memories flooding back. Only it's not tunes that do it for me, it's, uh, ladies' hosiery. Really? Aye, well, tights, to be precise. Do you know they even see me bacon once? Fan belt went on me Riley in the uh, in the peaks. <laughs> Your grandma knew what she had to do. <laughs> Off they came. <laughs> Seriously. And waste not, want not. When, when I got the belt replaced, I stretched them over a coat hanger, made a very serviceable net. Cost many a tadpole his liberty when your mam got busy. <laughs> Still, many a days passed since I've had my hands on a good pair of ten And this is bothering you. I wouldn't say bothering, no, but uh, but it pays to think a few steps ahead in this game. You can't. You're taking David's grand out for a pizza, yeah? Aye. Well, how far do you think you're gonna get, Grandad? Hey, you mind your salty tongue. You're the one talking about women's tights. Yes, I need them to store me onions in. Oh, for pity's sake, forget it. I'll string them up. What do you want? I just got hauled in by Donald. What are you trying to do to me? I had to fight to keep hold of my job. Well, you're lucky you have. Lucky? A, nothing happened. B, what's any of this got to do with you? You're just a receptionist. Of a medical centre. Not some sleazy massage parlour come escort agency. Where the hell are you getting this from? Please! You couldn't have been more obvious if you'd been at it in the middle of the street. We all saw you left your car outside Eileen's house. And that means I stayed the night? What planet are you on? Eileen's never been anything but a client. Nothing happened between me and her. Really? Really? But you don't give a toss about the truth, or else you'd have asked me what was going on and I'd have told you nothing. Well, maybe you should have thought about what it looked like. When I first met you, I thought, here's a lovely woman, got time for everyone, somebody I want to get to know. And the minute I turn round, I get a knife between my shoulder blades. What did I ever do to you, Gail? Nothing. I don't know what you're after. But here's the truth. I'm unmarried, no kids, not seeing anyone. Not likely to after this. Whisper that in the boss's ear. And I've got to be changed and back within the hour to meet Keith. Now, Candice, remember what I said about locking up? Well, can't I just go home and all? You've got a hot date at 5.15. Oh, I don't know. I think it must be some Yorkshire thing and eating early. Oh, maybe eat early means early night. Oh, go, go on with you. <laughs> Have a good time, Graham. All right, now, darling. Thank you. Hey, is there? Is he looking at me? Is that your monkey bear on the dashboard? Yes, he must have passed. Calm down, will you? Look, I like him. Is that such a bad thing, Sarah? You like his car. Oh, would you be happier if it was a skip wagon? Oh, funny. Anyway, Scooter doesn't drive it anymore. Yeah, well, he still watches fish instead of TV. Look, mind this island for a sec. I did it. Fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Well done. That's great news. Oh, admit it. You'd rather he scraped through on his fourth go. Did the charm work, then? Yeah. He was well good in the three point tons. Cheers, Candice. So you're going to be celebrating tonight then? Oh, you bet we are. He's going to buy me the finest scotch they got. A lemonade for him, though. And then he's going to drive me home. I could get two straws. I tell you what, I'll even have the vicar slavering. He'll be crawling over you to get to me. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Oh, Sil. Oh, Jan. Come here, you flaming gorgeous. <gasps> Who's fairest of us all, eh? You are, kid. 
I'm gonna make my Les proud. You know, I haven't thought about nicking out for weeks. He's making an honest woman of me. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I've dreamt about this moment all my life. I thought I'd miss both for getting wed. Now here I am, a new woman. And I'm ready for me prince. You want a picture, love? Special occasion? Something like that. You've got the great time on you. Yeah, uh, it's 5.35. You know, I hate it when they say that women are always late, but speaking as a woman, I'd say there's something in it. I'm sure she'll turn up. Me and all, thanks. I, I was only trying to be friendly. Let's leave it at that, shall we? Yeah, the other thing about us women, we only speak when spoken to. Maybe he's changed his mind. Maybe he's just trying to land his helicopter. He's so immature. Maybe he can't find his gold card. He's got a gold card. Why do you care? I don't. You do. But does he, though? Why? You only like him because he's a nice guy. I thought you didn't want to be all full on. So you want me to go even slower? Well, he's not going to own the factory next week, Andy's. I'm not even thinking about that. You so are. And it's not even going to take off until they do a proper designer collection. <gasps> Eight, they could call it Ice Candy. Do you get it? I get it. Excuse me, Violet. Um, do you take gold cards? So, the lad who trod them grapes, did he take his socks off or what? Oh, yeah, it's nice, that. Bring it on then, mate. Mm. Hey, you know your stuff, don't you? First time I've seen you look at home with a glass in your hand. How do you mean? Well, a girl like you's not cut out for the rovers. But put you in here and it's like to the manor born. For this kind of place any day. I bet. You're not the pike and pork scratching type, you. You're class. Well, I like to think so. I know so. Hey, I, uh, I see you walking to work sometimes. <laughs> Have you been watching me? Hey, just cos I hang around the gills with me telescopic lens. <laughs> Don't go getting the wrong idea. So what's the right idea, then? Uh, it's hard not to see you. You stand out. You're like a swan among sparrows. Oh, what, is that Manchester for I don't buy it? No. It's like you're there in body but not in spirit. Yeah, well, I don't get paid for my spirit, do I? There's nothing wrong with wanting a bit more out of life, is there? But if there is, Kelp, I've been wrong all my life. How do you mean? You've got, like, your own business and everything. Only from living on my wits, slaving away in a hostile world. Sometimes I need to remind them what I'm doing it for. Well, what can I do to help you then? Hey, I'm about to have a top draw meal with the most gorgeous woman I've met in a very, very, very long time. I think I managed to soldier on. Wanted to give you that, seeing as today is something of a milestone in a young man's life. The motorists skate to wheels. Yeah, your grandmother Val and I put that to great use when we were newlyweds. Oh, you lucky lad. There's something inside which might be of more interest to you. What's this for? Five hundred pounds to buy yourself a car. Thanks a lot, Granda. It's brilliant. Cheers. Yeah, I hate to mention this, but the price of cars have gone up a bit since your granddad's boy racer days. Oh, I'm sure you can find yourself a reasonable run around. Oh, you know your way around the car auctions, do you again? I got these earrings through bidding. Oh, and this bracelet. You got them on a shopping channel. So, the presenter mentioned me by name and said I was robbing him. <laughs> oh, yeah? Can you do the same with cars? I know a good deal when I see one. Do you want to come with me? Yeah, I would. <laughs> oh, Keith! Hi. Oh, I hope you weren't thinking I'd forgotten about you. Uh, no, no. Uh, shall we go? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Do you look smart? Ah, <laughs> you and all. Oh, oh go well, on. Let, let's, make, let's make our way. Look, why don't we have just a quick one here? Because I'm absolutely parched. Well, I, I'd rather we made tracks. Oh, all right, all right. Well, I'll just have a quick word with Candice about the work route. Oh, I'd sooner you didn't. It, it, it's just that uh, I don't want us to lose our table. All right. Oh, you must be peckish. <laughs> I just want to say, I think you should be more careful before you go spreading lies about people. I'm sorry? You led me to believe things were going on between you and him. Well, Gail, I'm afraid that says more about you than it does me. No, Eileen, it says more about you. I have a duty as a medical centre employee to protect my colleagues from malicious rumours. Who was the one that made out he was fully booked? Honestly, girl, if you get this possessive over every man you're infatuated is, is it any wonder they run off? I am not infatuated. Oh, not off. 
You've been trying to get his buckle undone since you first set eyes on him. This is just envy, pure and simple. You think I'm envious of you? All I know is that you can't stand to see anyone else happy. It's the story of your sad, lousy little life. How dare you? Let's get one thing straight, Gail. I will see Phil as and when I choose. And it has nothing to do with you whether I have corns, chillblains or fallen flaming arches. You think a fella like Phil would look twice at you? Sad and desperate. You should have it tattooed on your forehead. You can talk. Let's face it, Gail. Sour little shrews like you just don't turn him on. Now, run along home. Curtains won't twitch themselves. Lovely. Thank yeah. you, Key. Yeah, excuse me. Oh, you're right. Uh, miss. Yes, sir. Is everything got right for you? I, I, I take it we're still eligible for the early bird meal deal. All of the early birds need to be ordered by six, sir. Yeah, but w we, we got delayed. I mean, it's only four and a half minutes past six. I mean, we booked the table for 5.15. I mean, that proves our intentions were right. What's it worth? I'm not succumbing to bribery. OK. What? There is such a thing as goodwill, you know. I know. We call it a teepina, sir. But I want all of my breath. Oh, I got it all right. Come be better. Good. Do you know, I'm feeling absolutely famished, so I think I'm going to try the marinated king prawns to start. And then I think I could do justice to a steak. I'm so peckish. What about you? Oh. This'll suffice. <laughs> and uh, the cheese and tomato pizza. Oh, really? You're feeling all right, love, eh? Mm. Right. Tick top. <laughs> really? Oh, do you know, I thought you'd have had your plate loaded being the outdoor type you are. <laughs> Can I take your drinks, Orda? Oh, yes, please. Gentlemen will choose the way. Some days it's hard enough just getting out of bed. Well, that's why it's a good idea to set targets. I know, but I don't want to try and go too fast. I mean... <clears throat> I'm not pinning you down to dates. Just think of it like climbing a ladder. You only move on to the next rung when you're ready. <sighs> that's sensitive. She's got a fear of heights and all. <laughs> He's joking. You didn't know that. Sorry, just um, changing into my civvies, then I'm off downstairs for a pint. <clears throat> Ignore me. Two minutes, I'll be out, you hear? Right, I want you to be bold. Think of what you want to do more than anything. I'd be happy if I could just get back to work. So, um, cars on the table. Did you have a good time? <laughs> yeah, I have. Nice, sir. All right, mate. You know what I expected? I am supposed to be vaguely insulted by that. What? Don't you know I stack a compliment? <laughs> well, I always think it's better to give than receive, cos, um, <laughs> you know something, you're gorgeous. You totally crack me up. I've had a boss time, and it's not over yet. Well, is that an offer? I think there's a yes there somewhere, so, uh, I suppose it is. I suppose it is. Oh, don't bother. Oh, no, life's been good to me. Give something back. Look, you haven't got any change, all right? There you go, love. So you found what you wanted, Cal. I'm going home. Yo, Kelly, what's the matter? I just got to go, all right? Yo! Forget about everyday things. Tell me something you dream of doing. Why do you want to know that? I don't think she quite understands how this is helping. It helps me understand what you're afraid of so we can deal with those fears. I mean, it might be something that feels impossible right now. Well, it's always the same fear. Whether it's in my wildest dreams or whether it's working a shift behind the bar. Go on. Being looked at. People watching me. Knowing that they're talking about me or or not knowing, or, or, or just thinking they are. I, I can't stand it. And can you explain to me why? I don't want them thinking about me. I can't deal with it. Them knowing stuff that I don't even know myself. I, I know why it is. It's because of Peter. Because I stood there in that church with all those eyes on me. 
and he knew what he was doing all along. I just get so scared when I think about putting myself through it. No one's forcing you to. You don't understand. You see, that's my biggest dream. Getting married. The happiest day of my life. But that's the thing I'm most scared of, you see. That's the thing that keeps me up at night. It's OK. <laughs> we will get married. We'll get married. I promise you. You're going to walk down that aisle and I'll be waiting for you. And yeah, everyone's going to be looking at you, but you will be loving it. Because you'll be well again. And everyone's going to know it, shall. Are you asking me to marry you? Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna have me.